Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to quickly show you the difference in range between the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra's 100 times hybrid zoom versus Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus's 30 times hybrid zoom. As you know, the S20 Ultra is the only one capable of 100 times hybrid zoom, while the other two max out at 30 times hybrid zoom. So let's just see how different they actually are. So this here is the S. 20 plus i'm going to zoom in 30 times all the way down to the lg the the purple lg logo all the way up there so there we have it i'm going to take a quick photo and then we're going to take a look at the photo you do have to keep the phone steady for a stable shot okay so here's the photo and i'll let you know right away this is a pretty usable photo for 30 times uh, hybrid zoom and as you can see on the wall you can even see the word fire so that wall is pretty far back there. You can see the logo clearly and the word clearly. Now let's do the same thing with the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Let's do a hundred times uh, hybrid zoom all the way down to that logo. And I'll let you know, as you get closer and closer, it's going to be a little hard to stabilize that shot. It, it would be ideal to use a tripod, but let's try to take a photo of that. All right, there we go. Boom. And then take a look at the photo right after. All right, and that's the final photo. And again, very usable photo for being that far away. I can see the logo clearly. I can even see the TV underneath it. And if you put it side by side with the 30 and 100, you can see that the 100 gets you so much more uh, closer than the 30. But both photos at the end are usable. Now, you're not going to be going out to the uh, print shop and printing these, but they are going to be usable. They have a benefit, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be playing with this to zoom in on far away objects. Whatever objects that may be is going to depend on you. But the biggest tip I can give you guys is get a tripod. If you're going to be using these zooming capabilities, it is going to be a little bit hard to stabilize the phone to take a proper shot. So a, a small, tiny cell phone tripod would be ideal. I'll drop a link down below so you can go check one out. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more videos to come. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.